And we are now just shy of seven hours since United Auto Workers went on strike against all three Detroit automakers. At the stroke of midnight, members walked off the job at three plants in the U.S. after no last minute deal was reached with the Detroit automakers, all three of them. Nick Monticelli live at Ford's Michigan Assembly Plant in Wayne, one of those strike targets, Nick. Hey, Jason. Yeah, in fact, this is the only strike target that's actually in our area, showing you just how far the reach is of the UAW. I'll step aside. You can see the uh, picketers here on the picket line in front of this Wayne plant. There are about 3,300 UAW members at this plant, and the second shift of strikers just started about an hour ago now, and you'll see them here all day long. But as, talk, as we've been talking to them, they are steadfast in their demands for increased pay, a cost of living adjustment, uh, and getting rid of the tier pay program. They also have absolutely no idea how long the strike could last. It could be a couple of days, it could be a couple of weeks or months. They have no clue. What we do know, though, is that it will last at least a couple of days because there are no negotiations happening today nor over the weekend. So the first time they could start talking again would be Monday. Yeah. And the UAW also going after a popular Stellantis plan in Toledo. Yeah, the sun coming up there as well in Ohio, where Kim DiGiulio is live this morning for us. Kim? Good morning, guys. Yeah, the sun's coming up, but we've had picketers out here all night, and some of the second shift picketers have just arrived here, and you can see they're holding the UAW on strike signs. They received word that this is going to be one of the strike plants last night. People started leaving around midnight. The picketers were out. They have a fire out here. It was pulling an all-nighter. Now, to give you perspective of how big this plant is, 5,800 UAW members work here. Uh, they're responsible for manufacturing the Jeep Wrangler and the Jeep Gladiator, the Wrangler, one of the uh, the most profitable vehicles for Stellantis. Uh, I spoke with one of the workers out here picketing, and he said he got chills when he heard that this plant was going to be one of the strike targets. Also, uh, another picketer said that, look, they don't really want to be here because uh, they'd rather be in there working, but they just want a fair deal. So they're going to be picketing. They're very supported by the people driving by, honking all morning long, all throughout the night. Uh, but again, this is going to be the scene here uh, for the rest of the day as they've they're working in six hour shifts of picketing out here in Toledo. I'm Kim Julio, local four back to you.